What's up guys, Nemer from Reaper Customs here and today we're going to teach you guys how to tint some taillights with some vinyl wrap. This is a vinyl tint brand that we use. This Mustang GT is going a light smoke in the back. Not He wanted it enough to look tinted but nothing too crazy to get pulled over. So we're going to deliver. First thing you want to do is alcohol um, the taillights, make it nice and clean, get all the oils off. And after you alcohol, which I've already done, uh, you want to get your tint, cut out a piece accordingly. Peel her off, shape it accordingly as well, and just work your magic. You wanna get get a glove on as well. You can use you can use a glove or you can use a squeegee. Either way is fine. What you wanna first do with taillights is uh, Mustangs are actually more intricate, but uh, you wanna find the first body line as well, and you don't wanna be stretching the taillights throughout the process anywhere. As you'll see, as I'm lifting it up constantly and working nice and slow. Alright guys, so there's a small, super small imperfection on the top of the film. Uh, it just didn't look the best. Um, it was a really tiny thing, but I just took it off because I wanted it to be perfect. So, we're getting our sheet again. I'm going to give you guys another pointer. Right on the body line first is where you want to go. You don't want to always go towards the flat side. Right now it is really hot at our shop. Um, we have the AC off because we're filming this video. Um, so it's a little bit easier without the torch. But you always want to have a heat gun or a torch and you'll see that I'm just going to slowly take it off and I'm just going to let the film fall into place. If at any point you're pushing down hard, that means the vinyl will peel on you. You don't want to push down hard, You really the one key thing about vinyl and taillight tints and anything, any kind of film, is you want to make sure it goes down nice and smooth. So you'll see on the edges it goes down really nice and smooth and you always want to make sure you start from the middle and squeegee outwards. If you go from the outside and go in, you're going to have air gaps and it's going to look like shit. So now you'll see all the way throughout the film, it's all done. Now it's ready to cut. So let's grab our knife. Going to have our knife out just a little bit, even less than that. All you want is this knife, this point right here should be touching on the film almost and this is in the air. So we're going to take it out a little bit, go in and cut. I'm gonna actually round off this corner so it looks a little nicer. Same thing here, same concept, you're cutting in the air. And then same with the top here, already have it down, so cutting on the groove there, in the air. There's already a crevice that's pre-made. All the way throughout it, into the bottom, and then going out. Peel it off. Now the most important process, you post heat. Get it warmed up a bit. Heat it up, push down with my glove. You can even use your fingers. The glove is not mandatory. It just makes your life a whole lot easier. One of the other pointers that I used when I first started off was uh, the gloves that everyone has from Walmart, the famous uh, cotton gloves, I think. Um, you just cut the fingers off of those if you ever need to, or you don't even need to cut them off. You can just use those as well. So that's one of them. And we're gonna repeat the process for the other two as well. Second tail light, same process. Lay it down in the middle. You don't want to have too much film on the outside else it's going to suck for me to stretch it in. Put it down on the body line and work my way in nice and smooth. Just going in and out, up and down. Sometimes you might notice with the film actually, you might get a little bit of tension. So right here, you'll notice I have a little bit of tension up there. Kind of like how I was saying, make sure you're not stretching hard. So get to that tension point, grab your knife and cut outwards right towards you. That's called a relief cut and it allows me to let the film, if you guys come in this way more Amir, you'll see that it allows the film just to fall right through. Same thing here as well guys, cutting right there. You don't actually want to go all the way over. The one thing with tint is you're not actually aiming for coverage. You don't need full coverage and the reason we say that is because what happens is it can peel on you if you fold over. Go nice and through using that same gap method as well. And we're gonna repeat the process for the third one and we'll pick it up when I finish. All right, we got it all final heated. You do wanna, after it's all heated each piece, what you wanna do is you wanna heat it one more time just to get all the swirls out. That'll just give it one final rest position. We're gonna give it a couple seconds to cool. Got my alcohol mixed with some water. Using this, 
just to get all the fingerprints off that we may have put on and uh, including all the plastics. You don't want to give the client a dirty car at all. Um, whether it's your personal car that you guys are doing or someone's vehicle, you want to make sure it all looks good and you leave it better than you found it. And that wraps it up. This was a light smoke finish. The same process goes for headlights, taillights, reflectors, side markers, you name it. Same process. Yeah, if you guys like these kind of videos, please be sure to let us know down below. Like, comment, subscribe for sure. That helps us out as well. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.